What's up, guys? My name is Zach Murillo. I am Harrison Stafford. Hi, I'm Eduardo. My name is Matt Jensen. This is Isaiah Palmer, bass player for Groundation. Today we're here to speak of the song Original Rhythm, coming from the album One Rock. There are many ways that a song gets its genesis, but for Original Rhythm, it came from me and my guitar, playing these chords, singing these lyrics with this melody. So who will come up with the original rhythm? The heartbeat and the human voice. And from there, the song gets its focus, gets its direction. The song has a purpose. I can remember hearing the cause progression for original rhythm. And as soon as Harrison starts to sing the melody, the bass line pops up. The way how I recall original rhythm being created um, was that around April 2019, we started getting together during a tour, we were actually on tour and we started getting together little rehearsals, little little jam sessions, things like that. And original rhythm wasn't the very first idea we came up with, but it was one of the first ones. I do remember that. And so, you know, with time and the time that we had to spend also away from each other after, after that year, after 2019, uh, the idea started getting more and more and more developed. This music is so much about all the instruments lining up together. And part of that lineup is to do, is to look for call and response. Look for, um, like say, a, a vocal part that's coming in and then to find a spot that might be open where I could answer that with a, with a keyboard part or a bass line where I could answer it with a keyboard part, a horn line where I could answer it. Something that really stands out about the writing sessions of Original Rhythm is the fact that for me, uh, it pretty much immediately stood out as, you know, the first song that felt like a single, that had some single power. Um, just the bass line and the, the lyrics and the hook, it just all felt like it came together pretty quickly. We were actually set to record the album in the spring of 2020. And then the pandemic, of course, came on. We had to postpone things, not knowing when we were gonna actually record the record. We took that time to demo the album, every single song, each musician at their home studio recording their instrument. And for me, I spent that time on the lyric. On this song, I wanted to really stick with the bass. Me and Isaiah, we always try to formulate the sound of the bass and the guitar playing together. And if we're not playing the same thing, we're always playing things that are, are conversing with each other. I like to create my bass lines around the, the, the vocals and the drums, of course, you know, making sure enough space is there for the groove, you know? When writing the drum beat for Original Rhythm, I was really trying to create a hybrid of one drop and hip hop style drumming. Um, instead of just having the rim knock and kick on three, I did a double rim knock, which kind of gives it this sloppy hip hop vibe. And the kick drum has some variation. So instead of just playing the kick on three, I'm doing some different rhythms to give it more of a hip hop feel. When I first heard the rough demo of this tune, it was clear that it was going to be super fun, just hard, hard rhythm, you know, uh, piano and organ bubble, just straight hard rhythm. There came a point when uh, Isaiah started really working on the bass line on his own, and I just kind of you know, waited. Uh, I had a few, you know, ideas in my head of how little little things that I wanted to add to the song, but this is a song you're, you're not really gonna hear a lot of lead guitar work. It's mostly really there with the bass, thickening that broth, you know, of what's really cooking in that song, and that was really deliberately the, the intention. This bass line really came to me very quickly still, you know? Yeah, and then that becomes the main bass groove in the song with other melodic lines which I create around some of the vocal melody. Before my walk and talk about. You know? Before my... 
Yeah. And also in the Israel Vibration Bridge. We pass it on to the future. Now you're being a man name of the plan. One day, Basie. Isaiah came here to my studio and we spent like hours working on this song, working on how we finally were gonna put together the bass and the guitar and create the, the final arrangement. And like after we were done, like five, six hours, it just went by like that, you know? We were just really uh, connecting with each other and creating what it, what it is that you hear in the record now uh, when it comes to our part. And then in the very end, I drew a little inspiration from Pink Floyd and also so from, from some Old time ground nation tune. I think uh, Naya Bean the Order has something like that where the guitar just plays a slide and it rings and, and you know, and I know Harrison likes these kind of things and I do too. So I decided to just add that in there in the very end, in the very final section of the song, which was a little, just a little thing that I decided to break away from the bass and, and put in there. So the studio session for this song, it was very nice because I think we were just so happy to be there recording. And if I'm not mistaken, this was the very first song we recorded when Jim Fox arrived and we got everything together ready to record. And I mean, we were just overwhelmed with this good vibe with, with and we could, I think we could really feel the, the, the spirits, the good spirits in there with us, you know, strengthening us and, and giving us that energy that we hadn't gotten from so long of not playing together. So when we went to the Prairie Sun the day before, we weren't recording just yet and we just set up our equipment and we started running through the songs and I just remember feeling this overwhelming joy and just feeling like that we were so strong at that moment that we were coming back together from a year or something of not playing and just having that time in the studio. You could hear everything so well and we were well rehearsed. We had been rehearsing for some time, so it was, it was a nice vibe. I can remember listening to the playback of Original Rhythm right after we recorded the basic tracks in the studio. And man, Wow, the groove was just locked, you know, it felt so powerful. Doing the session at Prairie Sun Studio, well, first of all, I really love that studio. Great sounding studio, you know, incredible sound. Especially working with studio engineer, the great Jim Fox, you know, <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I don't really remember uh, the exact time that we recorded this song in the studio. It was the first song that we recorded that week. So all the excitement that we were feeling to be there and to be embarking on this week of recording, I think was put into this song. And also, um, you know, after recording it, we all, you know, just our excitement levels increased after, you know, hearing what we did and the sounds that we were getting. And really, uh, it just gave us a taste for the magic that we were gonna be able to capture that week. And uh, really just set the tone for the rest of the recording session. If I should say favorite parts, it would be like the arms in the intro. <laughs> footage of all the Nyabingi drummers who were set up behind Harrison, especially the guy playing the big giant thunder drum. That's Cedric Mighton, who's the lead singer of the Congos. I just get goosebumps feeling their commitment, their passion. You know, these are Rasta elders who have been playing this music forever and ever, and the consciousness with which they're playing these drums, it just jumps off the screen and hits me in the heart. I really like the part that Wiss comes in. I like the, sli the slide and the whole, you know, the different way that the, the song starts being played at that point. I also really like Skelly's part, the chord changes there and just what the bass line is doing, really, really like that part. It's so 
Nitro is featuring. I mean, to have Wiss and Skelly singing lead vocals on one song, I mean, that's never happened on an Israel Vibration album. And I really didn't think the Abyssinians were gonna be possible. I knew I had to keep it short and sweet, and uh, I knew there was gonna be challenges uniting the clans, but we made it happen, and uh, it brings me so much joy. Another section of the tune that I really like is the dub section. It happens at about three minutes and 32 seconds. Everything drops out except the bass and drums and you're left with this mystical ethereal vibration. In our section here, it starts with the horns with a delay effect and that fades into a melodica line that I play. A few seconds later, I play this big fat F sharp minor nine chord with a, with a descending chromatic line. And that lands you just in time to deeply contemplate the lyric, ancient form of communication in times of sorrow and celebration. And then you're off. The outro with the strings. And the ending of the song too. I like how the song ends. It kind of it just catches you by surprise like that. That that's that's also fun. Sound, sound. I also want to take this opportunity to personally big up Harrison for always paying respect to the elders, always looking out for them, always giving them, giving them this platform to stay current. Give thanks, Harry. They are a real general. You know, this new album has really been shaped by the pandemic. And over the last couple of years, we have just lost so many of our Jamaican icons, you know? these singers and musicians who touched so many people and shaped me into the person who I am. And I began to think about the album featuring and the need to record these legends while they're with us. To have Abyssinians and Israel Vibration singing in one track, it's, it's just overwhelming, it's amazing, yeah, it's so good. Um, I never thought in my life that I'd be able to play a song that these originators of reggae music would be singing on. And I can't believe I've got the opportunity to play on the same album as them. Man, uh, it's pretty incredible. I honestly never thought that I would ever be, ever have the opportunity to be on a recording with, with such legends. I mean, the Abyssinians, uh, definitely one of, you know, my favorite, uh, roots reggae acts growing up and um, you know when I was really starting to discover my passion and my love for reggae music they were definitely one of the groups that that I was listening to a lot so uh, to have the opportunity to share a recording with them is is pretty unreal and uh, I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity so my feelings on the song yes because it's blessed by these legends and because these are people I spent my whole life you know listening to is real vibration and Abyssinians so so important to me and contributed to so much to the sound of, of reggae of what we do uh, and just the fact that the song deals with uh, an amazing a question you know uh, to me it's a big question who originated music who who did it for the first time you know who created the groove you know who was able to s move people by touching their hearts with the music you know and it's, it's just incredible for us we're born with this talent of music and we know that this is a tradition that goes from generation to generation in the middle of the pandemic and uh, I have to say that the music gave me quite an, an uplift in these difficult times. The concept 
behind Groundation is to really carry the music to a new place, while at the same time honoring the roots and, and showing a lineage to the foundation. And we explore new harmonic and new rhythmic places in the music. And, um, you know, we're trying to surprise ourselves and not try to copy what we've done in the past and not try to copy anything, you know, come as something unique. And I really feel like we've done that on this album. We are taking the, those roots and those foundational elements of, of reggae music and, and really trying to push it forward into new territories and, um, you know, bring it to a place special um, and fresh. And I think original rhythm is, you know, it's the first taste of that for this, for this new record and for the future of Groundation. And I think, uh, I know that I am, and I think the band as a whole are very proud of what we've created. And uh, we're very excited to share it with Groundation's fans. Original rhythm is a, it's a deep question, you know, it's a philosophical question. So I, I am really fond of the lyrical content of this song. And I think that uh, it, it couldn't have been done better. I mean, you have the foundation of reggae right there. And Zach did this amazing tribal drum beat. And you know, the bass line is incredible, the arrangements, the keyboard, the horns, incredible. So we're just loving it. And we have a lot more to give the people. <laughs> so I hope you guys stay tuned for what's coming up next and big up everyone.